I am learning that sometimes, mostly all the time, you really have to stop focusing on everything and everyone else and what they're doing and focus on your own peace. Focus on being peace and focus on being of service. Disengage. So just to give some background of how I'm coming to this new realization and how I'm going to start practicing this is things that disrupt my peace are chaotic environments that are filled with disorganization, lack of good communication, and unnecessary conflict. And I say that because not all conflict is bad. I'm talking about unnecessary conflict. People peopling and being petty and a disrupting and, interu- and interrupting the environment. This is happening in two areas of my life right now, at work and in a group, for lack of better words, a, like a volunteer group I'm in. And things that really set me off are when I'm observing manipulative behaviors, like people getting behind the leadership of the organization and being in their ear with gossip and drama because they don't like somebody and they make it very evident. I hate seeing people gang up on someone and purposefully get in the way of that person doing what they're trying to do, like just doing their job, just trying to be helpful. And they purposely bring up, just make it difficult for people because just because they don't like them. I hate seeing mean girl activity. I hate seeing, um, and and I'm, I'm saying hate, I really don't like to use the word hate a lot, but I'm just trying to express like how much this kind of stuff disrupts my spirit and it could set me off i hate seeing people just for no good reason make the environment uncomfortable and they don't stop they think it's cute they think it's funny they like having their little side jokes their little side digs you could tell that they get together and and laugh about how they said something rude in a meeting or when, when when things are trying to get done and they're just being unnecessarily difficult. That stuff bothers me to the core. When people are in leadership and they don't con- and they don't um communicate well, they don't consider how things affect the group of the as, of the whole. They don't think about how they're going to implement some type of change. And all this stuff just feels so out of my control and I can get reactive where I just, I want to call people out. I want to leave. I want to leave. I want to quit. I'm out. I'm going to take my toys and go home. I want to, I, I just react. And, and I may have good intentions. Like my, my, mor- my motivation at the core of it is to bring a cohesiveness to groups and have peace, a level of peace. And I like to see everyone getting along well. And when it's not happening, I get reactive because I get angry. But all I'm doing is adding to the chaos. And then no one could really see where the chaos is really coming from. Because here I am being, you know, in my justified anger or self-righteousness and just adding to all the, 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 the conflict, chaos, it's not making it better. And all it's doing is disrupting my own peace and it's not bringing peace to the environment. And I just end up feeling regretful for how I react sometimes, um, stewing on it and things like that. So here's what I'm learning to do differently. Disengage. I can still do my job. I can still serve my group. I can still do my best at what I do. I don't have to let any of that get in the way of what I'm there to do, my job. All I I can do is be there and try to be of service. Look for ways to be of service. Disengage from the pettiness. It's not my job to call anybody out. It's not my business how other people behave. 
I can't control how people behave. I cannot control how people lead. That's just self-righteousness. They're going to lead how they lead. People going to people how they people. And if I can just stay in a place of peace and not let it get to me, even if that means emotionally disengaging from that and learn how to be uncomfortable in the environment but still be at peace. Nobody needs to change for me to experience peace. Nobody needs to change for you to experience peace. And that's where I run into problems is thinking that there's something I can do or say to change how someone else is behaving. Someone else, uh, someone else's behavior, that's between them and God. I have no place in it. It's none of my business. It's going to take God to con- con- convict them or whatever God does to work on them. Their life, their inner work, their inner soul is going to be evidence of who they sh- how they show up. My job is to work on my inner world, my, my relationship with God. Be peace. Be an example. Be an example of peace. And when you do that... other people recognize it and it may even show other people you're out here on your own you're being petty by yourself nobody's being petty with you the more people who just stop trying to react and change people and just work on your peace bring your peace be of service it's it, it can be a good example that can influence someone else's changing their behavior but I'll never be able to change someone else's behavior. So I work, I come, do what I'm there to do in that environment, do the best I can, bring all my beautiful Jasmine energy to it because it is great energy. Bring it and then take my butt on home about my business and to my own household. The one thing I can control, my family, my household, not like my family, but my household, how my household is run. Bring the happiness. Put up my Christmas tree. Bring in holiday spirit. Be happy. Go about my business and leave all that stuff where it is. Stop trying to control how other people and environments run and behave and focus on your own peace. Focus on being peace. Bring the peace. And that's it. That's how we're going to do it from now on. I'll check in with you guys and let you know how it's going. All right. 